This is a CPC board exam tip, how to handle multiple code answers. We touched on this a little bit last month, but I wanted to elaborate on it more because we've been getting um, lots of feedback on that and requests. And I've actually had some suggestions from some students on how they've kind of adapted to it. So I wanted to share that. So one of our Blitz students writes in, I didn't pass my CPC last December. Just the word test scares the heck out of me. And it's very overwhelming when there is multiple procedures on answer lines. How can I keep myself from feeling this way when I run into these? So here's a typical scenario. Um, and what I love about this is that she didn't even give the scenario. She just gave the answers. So it's all about how to attack it. Okay. So that's what I want to show you. Um, so let's do the second poll. Let me launch that one because they're a little too or similar. Uh, Okay, so take a minute, just guessing. I know I didn't put the question up, <laughs> but which answer do you think is the right one? Just by looking at the codes. So answer A, we've got one, two, three, four, five codes. Answer B has three codes. Answer C has one, two, three, four, five codes. And then answer D has three codes. All right, the answers are loading up, 20, 33% voted. Fifty-five percent voted. We're getting to the end there. Not that I'm recommending you take the board exam this way, but it's just to prove a point. I just want to see what I call it my spidey sense, you know, when trying to figure out which one's the right one. All right. You guys are doing great. A few more seconds, 74% voted. All right, I'm gonna close the poll and see what we got. All right, so we got 8% thought it was answer A, 25% thought it was answer B, 41% thought it was interest, uh, I'm thinking interesting in my head. 41% thought it was answer C and 25% answer D. Very interesting. Okay, so let's let's take a look at that. <clears throat> so let's break it down. The first thing to do is grab a highlighter and highlight the matching codes. And because of this webinar, I need to do color coding. So that's what made me think of using a highlighter. Um, and what I envisioned was uncapping maybe three or four different colored highlighters, having it in front of your exam grid and just grabbing the different ones to highlight codes that match. And one of our students who um, recently took the CPC exam and passed said that um, she didn't feel like she could handle switching the markers. So what she did, and I really like this and wanted to share it, was she would square off um, one code and maybe use a trapezoid for another and an oval for another. So just with the pencil or, you know, she would mark it up so that they, they look the same. And, and Alicia said she kind of would do a strike through on, on ones that she knew she didn't have to look up, but that were OK. So whatever system you come up with, just something so that you can group the same codes together. OK, so for for my illustration, I'm saying, you know, use highlighters. So in looking at this. Just by looking at it, my spidey sense is saying that it's answer C, which a lot of you agreed with. Um, obviously, 22842 is correct because it's in every single answer. So you don't even really have to look it up. OK, so since I'm kind of thinking it's it might be C, I want to figure out if the 20938 is needed or not, because that is in um, answer A and C. So if it is, then I can throw out B and D. And if it isn't, then I throw out A and C. 
I hope that's making sense because that's really the goal is process elimination. You want to throw out two of the four and then narrow it down to the two and figure out what the difference is with them. So just by doing that, um, you know, I think that the answer, you know, is, is C. Now I don't have the question. Okay. Um, and that wasn't the point of the slide. It was just to show how you can attack a multi code answer on the board exam. And since a majority of the people on the call um, are not certified, I'm assuming that you're planning on sitting for your board exam. So um, try this method because, you know, originally my advice was look up every answer before you read the scenario. Well, you just don't have time to do that anymore. Okay. Um, because the, the exam, especially for 2012, the feedback I'm getting from students that have taken it is that they are, a lot of them have these multi multi-code answers versus just one code in each answer, which you can, which you can then look each of them up. But in this case, you gotta, you gotta look for patterns so you can figure out how you can throw out two of the four. And so 20938 became a critical piece. I could have just as easily done it with 20930 you know, but I happened to pick this one um, because 20930 was the same way. It was in answer A and C, but not B and D. Okay. So hopefully that um, will help you. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits. Go to www.codingcertification.org.